When people think of muzzles, they immediately think of an aggressive dog. They think that a muzzle indicates that you've given up on your dog, that you've accepted their behavior the way it is, this acceptance that you have an aggressive dog. But actually, there are lots of reasons why a dog might use a muzzle. Some breeds are required to wear muzzles in public just because of the breed, greyhounds, staffies, staffy types, those kinds of dogs. Some dogs are scavengers. They might be wearing a muzzle to keep themselves safe more than anything, safe from picking something up that could hurt them or be poisonous to them. Um, some dogs are terrible for picking up anything at all that they can get hold of, um, and that could be dangerous for them. But people do use muzzles to help them with aggressive dogs. Wearing a muzzle for a dog is about keeping you safe and it's about keeping them safe as well. And that's really important. It's not about giving up and it's not about acceptance of their behavior. It's actually a really positive step because what it does is it allows you to work more confidently with your dog um, and it allows them to pick up on your confidence too. Very often when you're working with a dog, if you're quite anxious, if you think they might bite you or you're not sure even if they might or might not, that lack of confidence will come through and it'll unsettle your dog as well. So there's a lot of really good reasons to use a muzzle on your dog. And if you don't have a good reason, there are good reasons to introduce them to them while they're younger too, because you just don't know what the future's gonna hold. Not all dogs love the vet. Not all dogs love having their nails clipped or going to the groomers. And these kinds of things will really help keep them safe and it allows them to have the services that they need when they're older. So which muzzles um, are better? So I've got a couple here. This one is a fabric muzzle. And if you can just about see that, your dog's nose just goes in there. There it is. And um, what this muzzle will do is it will keep their mouth closed so that they're not able to open it and they're not able to pick anything up or bite it. Now, this is a great muzzle if you're just gonna pop it on for a few minutes while they get their nails clipped, get an injection, quick check over by the vet. But because they can't open their mouth, they're not able to pan properly. They won't be able to drink water. They won't be able to um, keep their body temperature regulated. So this is not a good muzzle if you need to have it on for more than a few minutes. For that, I recommend this one. And I understand why everybody recoils in horror when they see these muzzles, because when a dog's wearing one of these, it really does look, you know, um, pretty awful. But this is a much better choice if you're gonna to need to keep it on your dog for a, a longer period of time. With this kind of muzzle, their mouth is completely enclosed inside. So it means that they can do whatever they want inside this muzzle and there's no danger of them hurting anybody at all because of this bit at the front. So they can go through the motions of trying to bite or snap or growl. They can drink water, they can pant properly, they can open their mouth, they can let their tongue out, they can do all of those natural normal behaviors while they're wearing this muzzle. And that's important for a couple of reasons. So obviously physically, this is better for them because they can keep themselves cool and they can drink the water and all of those things. But behaviorally, it also means they can behave normally. So they can still try and bite you, um, but they just can't make contact with you. So it makes them safer to work with. But why it's important that they can still try and bite you is that gives you an indication of how your training is working. This fabric muscle here will hold their mouth shut. So you won't actually know if your training is working or not because the muzzle is affecting the way they behave. This one, it doesn't. So while you're working with your dog, if you're pushing them too far, you can still see that lip curling at the side. You can still see the, te the, the tongue the lips, the teeth, all of those normal body language behaviors that they try to do to let you know that something you're doing is not right and they're not happy. They can still do all these and you can still see it all happening. So you can respond to their behavior. This is not a um, do what you want to your dog plan. This is meant to be used in a situation where you're working with your dog. You shouldn't be pushing them outside of their comfort zone so far that they feel like they have to growl and bite you. And if you're doing that, then you're doing it wrong. This is a black up plan. So we're only human. We can push them a little bit. And sometimes you do make a mistake. This keeps everybody safe if that happens, but it's not meant to be that you can just hold your dog down, clip all their nails and they'll just put up with it. And there's nothing they can do about it. That's not what this is for. This is just in case of accidents. 
nothing more. So we still are not pushing our dog out of their comfort zone just because we have the muzzle on. Um, so if you want to introduce a muzzle like this to your dog, it's dead simple. Um, first of all, we'll show them the muzzle, let them have a good sniff of it and see what it's all about. And then in the end part here, just at the end where their tongue will go, I put a little bit of cream cheese in the end there or something else they like if cream cheese is no good. You could use muzzle, uh, marmite, you could use um, mayonnaise, butter, whatever you think they're going to love, a bit of peanut butter. Um, smear it into the end and then all they have to do is pop their face in, they'll have a little lick to get that little bit of cream cheese out or whatever and then they'll lift their head out, pop a little bit more in and let them go back in again and they'll just get used to putting the head in and out and in and out and this will come a little bit like a really weird Kong for them they'll just have a bit of fun getting lots of lovely tasty licky treats out of the end of this muzzle and as they become more and more confident on it only then would I think about trying to clip this on behind them behind their ears and have it actually just on them the real important thing with these is that you should never use this just at times when you're trying to work with them so don't ever just put this on because they're going to the vet or because they're going out for a walk and they might meet another dog or because they're getting a groom because they will then start to connect the muzzle to those behaviors that they don't um, they don't enjoy and this then becomes a part of that whole sequence of behavior so we never want them to think the muzzle is a part of that we need them to think that this is something that just comes on at random times. So if you're just chilling out in front of the TV in the, more, in the evening, just pop it on for a few minutes. If they like their walks, you could put it on for a part of their walk. Um, lots of different times that you could just put this on, maybe while you're just cooking in the kitchen, pop it on five minutes and then take it off again. So that they never associate this with you doing something that they're not gonna like. Um, as soon as you do that, this muzzle becomes useless because just like they want to avoid getting their nails clipped, once they've associated this with getting their nails clipped, they'll want to avoid this too. So this is a really, really important step. So if you're going to introduce your muzzle to your dog, make it really fun, um, make it taste good, and make sure they don't ever associate it with whatever it is that they're not loving. Um, hopefully you'll never ever need to use a muzzle, but if you do, then um, it will be a really fantastic tool for you to use. It will help you um, in your training and it will keep them safe whenever you need it. Lovely to talk to you again. Take care now. Bye bye.